<laughs> Hi guys. So we ordered um, a dog care, a dog training collar from Amazon. Um, it had really good reviews and it's got three modes, vibrating, um, a beeping, and shocking. Um, one of our dogs is really good, but you know, he could be a little bit better when he doesn't want to come in. And then the other one can't be off of a leash at all. So we were hoping that these would work and kind of help keep them um, paying attention. So anyways, it comes in the box like this. It's kind of all neatly put in here. Um, I took everything out just so I could go through the directions, but the directions were on the bottom. This was in here. Um, everything was wrapped in plastic, which is nice. So this is the um this will be the collar that snaps and then um we'll thread it through this is the part that goes on the dog and these will be the shock shock parts um and then they actually have these little silicone tabs and this bag here with a tether that can go on the bottom of here um but these little silicone pieces can go on um, like the receiver part just so that the shock isn't as intense but it, it does there is um like a, a static simulation guide here and like it tells you if they're not feeling the shock the different things you can do like the collar might be too loose um they're like our our one is a shepherd he's got a lot of fur so we have to separate the fur we can take the silicone caps off spray with water because water sometimes can help it be more effective or even shave like his fur so we'll put leave them on for now until we figure out um what is best when we first got it we had to charge it it says charge for about two hours this was light right here every so often you'll see it blink green it blinks red when it needs to be charged and so I think that it was charged faster than two hours last night but we just left it on for the night and then figured we start today and then um it's supposed to, from all the reviews, last a pretty decent amount of time, so that'll be nice. Um, this is the remote that comes with it, so your on and off is up here, so it's off, you turn it on. Um, so down here, it'll show you that the remote has full battery, and then the, um, the dog's collar has full battery. 10 is the level that right now our shock is on. They say to start at 10, and then you... Um, go up from your dog's responses to it um, or stay at 10 if they respond to 10. Um, number one is the channel that we're on and then so you can see um, one of the first things is to match up this with your collar but they come factory matched up so we didn't have to do that which was nice. We have a lock button back here so you can lock this and you can't do anything with the keypad or you unlock it and then if I push the vibrate as you can, I'll do it again. It vibrates. And then you can even hold it. And it doesn't stop. And then um, this is the beep. And then you can hold it. And it just keeps beeping. Um, and this button right here is what you would you would push and hold it down. And then you would use this button. See, it's at 99. We don't want it at a 99 level. So then you can go to your shock level. We're gonna start at 10 and see what um, what happens from there. Then these are the different channels. The one thing that I liked a lot about this one was that um, a lot of these you can have like two dogs, maybe three, but this one you can sync nine dogs. We don't have nine dogs, but you know, if we ever get another one. I only bought one collar to make sure that we like it first, and then I was gonna get another, just another receiver. So the nice thing is, everything all the dogs will be on one and you can just switch through the channels to um, take care of theirs then it comes with the cord this is how you charge it for usb um we were lucky enough and i don't know we got a free gift so if we leave um if we leave their feedback on amazon and we send it to them then we can get a free gift so that was in our box too and then these are all of your instructions just basically setting it up, um, connecting the remotes if you have to, adding receivers if you need to, taking them off if you need to, how to do the static levels, the vibration, the sound, the static, um, and 
then all of the ones for wearing the collar, how to get it all put together and stuff. So I think that Brian wants to try the collar out. I don't think it's a, a great idea, but that's what he wants, um, just to see um, what it feels like. So we're really just gonna hold this up to him. I'm not gonna bother with going through the camera to get this on, but it's pretty self-explanatory. You see the, the two pieces here that the collar goes through. Why are you taking those off? We're this leaving is... them on for the dog. Yeah, we'll try it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Suck. <laughs> Stupid sucker here. I'm about to have the camera. <clears throat> oh. So here we go. <laughs> He's going to put it. Yeah, and then, so here's the thing. And this is big, giant orange button here with the little lightning bolt. We'll sh send the shock. And on the... um. Uh, direction that says press the static button and the receiver will give a static simulation to the wearer. Do not hold the button because it's not recommended, so we will not hold it. So one press. Did you feel anything? No, I didn't feel nothing. I guess there's a yeah. No, I don't feel. What is your at ten? Yeah. No, there ain't so he button. says he doesn't feel anything. Go to twenty. So um, I'm to put this yeah, down. Yeah, show the shorts. And I'm leg. gonna. But you yeah, get up there. I got it on 20. And there it is on his leg. And we will send another one. Woo! -hoo! Did you feel that one? I felt it. It was nothing. It was like a le tiny little electric fence, but I felt it. So I'm a sissy. Keep going. No, we don't need to be that go, high. Go 30. Let's see what 30 feels like. Oh, I felt it. You're a mess. <laughs> it's nothing. I'm a little pansy. All right. So you can see we're at 30. Oh, <laughs> All right, well, we're going to stop there. I am not going to have this on 30 for the dog. We'll probably start at 20. Um, it doesn't hurt. I mean, it's not bad. I tased myself with a 100,000 volt taser. That was a lot more juice than this little thing. It's just, I'm a pansy and I haven't done that in a long time. And uh, I mean, 30 wouldn't hurt any dog. This would, this didn't hurt. I mean, you could, you could do this if you wanted to. I can go find the taser and we can crack a lightning bolt and we can see. But uh, yeah, thirty would be fine for our dogs are 100 pounds, right. so this would this is a fine start. It's not bad, but if my dog can get it, I can get it. But thanks, guys. Back to the boss. So I'm gonna start at 20, regardless of what he says. The point of the shock collar wasn't because I want to hurt the dogs or that I want to super shock them. I just I ideally want to start with the vibration and even the beep because we have noticed with the shepherd we use a whistle when he's not coming when we call him and he does respond to the whistle. So I'm hoping that they'll respond just from the vibration and from the whistle and we won't even have to go to that to the shock call the shocking part. Um, but I've had a lot heard a lot of good reviews and people say that um, sometimes the um, the vibration and and the beep itself are enough and then some people say that after like the first two shocks or something they just have to have the remote in their hand our whole thing is you know we live on a road that can be busy at times and they have a lot of area here they don't need to wander off chase things you know get hurt or anything so that's kind of where we're at and um i mean so far everything looks pretty nice and hopefully it works for our dogs so as always, you know, thanks for the support and don't thanks, forget guys. to keep, subscribe and keep watching. And uh, uh, I just hit the back. No, oh, you're no, it's auto exposure. I don't know if it's it's got to be recording, but it that, is. Thanks, for, <laughs> thanks for watching. Sorry about that. Yeah, they had a wrench on our black here and the GoPro black, but I was trying to find our taser, but it's not in its spot where it was just to show a lightning bolt. But, but yeah, thanks guys, and I'll you know, talk to y'all later.